a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Everyone's a critic. Next time that lovely little mantel clock, Mrs. Harcroft, or perhaps the late Mr. Harcroft's splendid pocket watch, I know I have a buyer. Well, I, I will certainly think about it, Mr. Epson. And thank you very much for the car. Good day. Hey, Mama. What's in the bag? Give me that. Let go. Hey! Hey, what, what do you guys think you're doing? Stop right there. Come on, Taylor, this way. Well, that's some terrific dog you got there, sir. If it hadn't have been for him... The dog I... is the lady's, Mac, not mine. Oh, dear me, no, he isn't. Although he does look like my dear departed Ulysses III. Don't you, boy? My good man, you are hurt. Oh, it's just a scratch, man. It takes more than a scratch to stop Charlie McNamara. Lots more. Uh, uh, glad to hear it, sir. That was a good thing you did. Well, you take care of yourself, Mrs. Harcroft, and you too, sir. All the same, I'd never forgive myself if you developed an infection on my account. <laughs> there now, a real flow nightingale, as my late husband used to say. Hamilton Harcroft. You knew my husband? Well, in a way, he did most of the big houses on the hill. Yes? I was in the same kind of business. Sort of. Why, thank you, Ulysses. Huh? Are you sure you can manage now? Oh, yes, I'm fine. But, but wouldn't you like to come back to my house for a cup of tea? You've been through something of an ordeal, and I would really like to thank you. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, but uh, I can't. Uh, business. Uh, that's it, business. Uh, but you don't need me now anyway. Uh, or you won't get into any trouble, not with the dog alone. Nice meeting you. Well, I've at least made one new friend. Here we are. No, Ulysses, this way. We never use that door. At your very own door, you can come and go anytime you like. And your own bed, if you'd like to stay. This way, Ulysses. Oh, 
Thank you, Ulysses. Some nice little cakes for Sunday. Oh, why didn't he say yes? I could have so used some company. Do you know that except for the people in the shops, I haven't had a real conversation with anyone in five years? McNamara may be old and on a pension, but uh, I don't go keeping things that that ain't mine. Here you are. You can take it back to her. With my thanks. Uh, wait. Uh, do you want me to go somewhere? <coughs> Mrs. Harcroft. Has, has something else happened to Mrs. Harcroft? Why didn't you say so? Let's go! <laughs> I-I-I came as soon as I... Mr. McNamara, hello. Ulysses, what are you two doing here? I, I, I thought there was an emergency. Your dog seemed in, in such a hurry to get me here. You did? Well, oh, Ulysses, why did you do that? You know, I, I was only saying to him how nice it would be if you... Mr. McNamara, you don't look well. Oh. Uh, this time I'm going to insist you come in for a cup of tea. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's the irony uh, of it, Lily. After all those years of working 30 floors up, I help a friend patch his roof and fall two stories. Oh, how <laughs> dreadful. Still, I, I live to tell the tale. Yes, and imagine all those years right next to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean it, Charlie, when you said you'd come to Sunday lunch tomorrow? First Sunday lunch I've looked for to since I died. I know just what you mean. Since Mr. Harcroft passed on, I found Sunday to be the loneliest day of the week. And when it's also your birthday. Your birthday? Mm -hmm. Really? Congratulations. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to return it to you. Oh, no, no, I want you to keep it. I'll take care of this, Lily. Oh, no, no, I I'm sure I don't have... Uh, no, that's right. I used the last one yesterday for the chandelier in the parlor. Oh. Say, would you mind if I look around the rest of the house? Well, it's the builder in me. You don't make them like this anymore. Well, of course, but it really needs a good cleaning and uh, the... Uh... The housekeeper is uh, on holidays for a month. That's fine. <laughs> Some other time.
Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Isn't it wonderful? We're going to have the best birthday lunch we've had in a long, long time. The trouble is, once this is gone, there won't be much else left to sell. Church is out already. Well, he won't be much longer. Well, what do you think, Ulysses? To a pass inspection? And rushing things. Uh, wait! Wait for me! Get a quarter, Charlie? I want to buy a paper. Oh. oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> no wonder you look so spiffy. <laughs> Who's the lucky lady? Lily Harcroft. Old Hamilton's widow? Mm. The millionaire? Oh, 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 it sure beats collecting on the old age pension. <laughs> Are you making out I'm after the lady for her money? Oh, come on, old buddy. What do you think she thinks? Hey, favors given for favors received. <laughs> Hey, McNamara, where you going? Hey, your lady love lives down that way. And McNamara don't live up no woman. Just leave me alone, all right? Everyone, all right?
do you want? Gas. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. This better not be another of your phony emergencies. I can't get in that way. this fella. in the gas heater. But it, it's okay. Charlie's here. Thank you. I'll, I'll call the doctor just to make sure. I had to sell everything. the furniture. It all seems so empty. Hush, Lily, hush. Well, don't you worry about anything now. Charlie's here. He's gonna take real good care of you. We both are. you need, don't you hesitate to call. Thank you, Dr. Fagan. Thank you, Doctor. I'll see you downstairs. That's all right, Mr. McNamara. I can see myself out. Good day to you. Goodbye. Well... You... 
proud, silly girl. And I was worried you'd think I was a fortune hunter. I, I was so ashamed when I had to sell the furniture. But Hamilton made me promise never to sell this house. Poor Hamilton. He would be so embarrassed if he knew what dreadful investments he'd made. Well, I'll be. Thank you, Ulysses. In all the commotion, we almost forgot about your birthday. Oh. It belonged to my mother, Lily. Oh, how lovely. Does this mean we're going to be friends, Charlie? And a lot more, Lily, if you can see your way clear. These last few hours, I've remembered what it feels like to think of someone beside yourself, and it's a good feeling. Right, Ulysses? Ulysses? Now where's he gone? <laughs> Ulysses have given me the best birthday I have ever had. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home.